Lesson 6.2, Break Apart, Three-Digit Add-Ins, Mental Math. Back in video 4.3, we had a lesson about breaking apart tens and ones. This is basically the same thing, except now we've got three-digit add-ins. We have a hundreds place. And we can break apart add-ins to add hundreds, tens, and then ones. And this helps us add using mental math. We write each addend as the sum of the value of its digits. So for 243, that's the sum, the value of its digits are 200 plus 40 plus 3. If we need to add 243 plus 125, we think of 243 as 200s, 4 tens, 3 ones. We think of 125 as 100, 2 tens, 5 ones. We add the hundreds, we have 3 hundreds. We add the tens, we have 6 tens. We add the ones, we have 8 ones. We have 368. We can add by finding the sums of the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. We write each add in as the sum of the value of its digits. 243 is 200 plus 40 plus 3, 125 is 100 plus 20 plus 5, we add the hundreds, that's 300, we add the tens, that's 60, we add the ones, that's 8, we have 368 for our sum. We break apart the add-ins into hundreds, tens, and ones, then add each column of hundreds, tens, and ones. We have 327 plus 236. 327 is 300 plus 20 plus 7. 236 is 200 plus 30 plus 6. We add the hundreds, we have 500. We add the tens, we have 50. We add the ones, we have 13 ones. And remember, 110 is equal to 10 ones. We can think 550 and 13 more. That would be 563. We need to break apart the add-ins to find the sum. We have 271 plus 219. 271 is 200 plus 70 plus 1. 219 is 200 plus 10 plus 9. Now, we add the hundreds. 200 plus 200 is 400. 70 plus 10 is 80. 1 plus 9 is 10. And now, we just think 480 plus 10 more. That would be 490. Two hundred seventy one plus 219 is equal to 490. Let's try another one. We have 308 plus 528. 308 is 300 plus zero tens plus eight ones. 528 is 500 plus two tens, which is 20, plus eight ones. We start by adding the hundreds. 300 plus 500 is 800. For our tens, we have a zero and a 20, so that's just 20. And we have eight plus eight, which is 16. And we think 820 and 16 more. That would be 836. We have 820, 830, 836. When adding with mental math, it's easier to start with the greatest place value. We have a 200 plus a 100. We think 300 plus 40 plus 15. So that means we have 340 plus 15. That's 355. When adding on paper, we start with the ones place and show regrouping. 
With mental math, it's easier to start with the greatest place value than add going towards the ones. Let's try some higher order thinking skills with mental math. A pumpkin farm grew 245 large pumpkins, 131 medium pumpkins, and 200 small pumpkins. How many pumpkins did they grow? So we think it's easier to add 200 plus 100 plus 200 first, the greatest place values. That means we have 500. Then we add the 40 and the 30. We have four tens and three tens. So now we have 570. Then we add the ones, the five and the one, that's six. We have 576. The answer is 576 pumpkins. So to add this in our head, all we did was start by adding the hundreds, then we added the tens, then we added the ones. We can also add these three-digit add-ins as 245 plus 100 plus 200. We have 245, 345, 445, 545. Then we add the 31. We have 545, we add 30. We have 575, we add that one, we have 576. We can add using partial sums. To add 349 plus 265, we start by adding the hundreds and then write their sum in the correct place value. Next, we add the tens, Four tens and six tens is ten tens. That's a hundred. We write that in the correct place value. Then we add the ones. Nine ones and five ones is fourteen ones. We write fourteen in the correct place values. Then we just add. We have six hundred fourteen. We finally add all of the partial sums. These are the partial sums for the final sum. And that's basically what we're doing in our head when we do mental math addition. Here we have 478 plus 253. 478 is 400 plus 70 plus 8. 253 is 200 plus 50 plus 3. We start by adding the hundreds. We have 400 plus 200 is 600. We add the tens. 7 tens plus 5 tens is 12 tens. That's 120. And we have an 8 plus 3. That's 11. Now look at what we've got here. We've got 600 plus 120 plus 11. This 120 is a 100 plus a 20. This 11 is a 10 plus a 1. We can put the hundreds together. 600 and 100 is 700. We can put these tens together. 20 plus 10 is 30. And then we just have the 1. We have 700 plus 30 plus 1, which is 700 31. So just remember that 10 ones is equal to 110 and 10 tens is equal to 100. We put it into the next place value. Having your basic addition and subtraction facts to 20 memorized, as well as you know 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, you can answer 9 plus 6 or 17 minus 8. If you can answer it as quick as you know 1 plus 1 is 2, your mental math will be even faster, and all math will be easier. Our next lesson, 6.3, we're going to talk about three-digit addition, and we're going to regroup the ones. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.